So, this time, motors installed into my solar car. And it took me two days to get the communication uh, somehow reliable. So, I want to show you. That's, I upgraded my online compiler so it can, uh, you can choose between multiple uh, GitHubs. And so this is a fork of the original and the, this is already the fork of a fork. And I added a debug serial feedback. That's my structure to send uh, that that gets sent back. And I had to do some changes in the main dot C. So this is a structure for feedback. That's the speed and how this is. Uh, I guess it might be interesting how many steps have been skipped so the temperature the, the voltage and the amps left and right and this is a error checking and yeah this is um, because uh, the original communication that it, it's a, this new arc buffer is circular and so when we, it's, one byte got lost and it did, did not align to the beginning and so I made a simple um, new version where it simply checks um, every eight pers all the eight pers positions. <laughs> and if this works, then I, I make a still a, a validate the, the values. So they must be this in minus 1000 plus 1000. This is quite reliable. Uh, other stuff I had to do. Um, yeah, this is now when I, this is a serial feedback. Instead of the debugging output, I um, well fill the values, make a CSC, and send it back. And I uh, yeah I changed this uh, to every 200 milliseconds. Uh, don't really know what this uh, inactivity timer count up is. Okay, yeah, then you can give it a name and hit the compile button. <laughs> And it takes a few seconds because now my web server, uh, all these source code gets compiled. Get some warnings, but here we have the binary, down on the binary. And then we can uh, go to the flash tool. Here we have to uh, uh, bridge the, the, the power on and so, you know, simply power on. Uh, and now we can string p search so for for the latest download and simply click start so this is um, the controller and now for the other unit code i made a, a small um, example file so here we have again this, the structure to send the data and here's a structure to receive uh, the data uh, I have to, had to switch to the Arduino uh, Mini 3.3 volt. Uh, that's down here anyway. So, uh, the, the, but I did not get the software serial to, uh, to work on the D1 Mini, the ESP8266. So I have a software serial that's 9,600 baud, and this is a check, zero checking, and here's a receive. And well, yeah, you can download it. So that's now here, and you see uh, that's <laughs> very error prone, so okay, power, uh, let's put it off, and on again, and it's now backwards, and where is the serial monitor? So you see that the speed left, right, skip, temperature, voltage, and uh, current. If I now make it gray, we can see that the apps increase. Uh, and next time, uh, I will. You can see the MC as well. 
so I can verify the value. So it's 6 amps and it was 3 amps. Of course you have to divide it by two because there are two motors, so it's the amps left and the amps right. Yeah, and now you see I can uh, unplug. That's uh, the TX, so uh, that's no problem. I also uh, I set the filter to 0.01 so that um, if something happens, it is only slowly. Because that's enough. The 0.01 uh, uh, was a bit too fast, so really, uh, if something goes wrong, and boom, motor goes on. So 0.01 for the low pass filter is, is better. Yeah, that's about all I think uh, I, I wanted to show you. Um, bye bye and have fun.